and that's Microsoft Exchange. It's like, you know, it's one of those things where if you're part of a corporate environment, you have to use it. I mean, you Google, you're fine. You know, Google plugs into anything, but uh, Microsoft Exchange is a, is a tricky one. It's even hard. When I was being a Mac user, it used to be hard enough to hook it up with a Mac, let alone on Linux. Now, there's been some sort of attempts over the years. There's like plugins and bits and bobs. There's a thing called Evolution, EWS, which links in. But it's not 100% seamless and it's not an easy user experience, I don't think. So that's the big thing. That's like the final frontier to to get away from Windows or to get away from Mac. It, and it's nothing to do with either operating system. It's to do with Microsoft, obviously. I mean, we'll look in a, a moment. I mean, obviously Word, Excel and those kind of things, you can replace that. That's not the problem. But Microsoft Exchange is the biggie. And one of the big things was if you work in a small team or in a with a larger team, and you do things like shared mailboxes, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare on a Mac as well, where it was. I don't know how it is now. Where you had to make your own app-specific part. It was just... And if you were working with an IT group of IT people, like, you know, IT, you know, they'd hate you because you're the Mac guy. And we had a, I was in a place where I was, I was like three Mac guys in a place of hundreds of PC users. And you've got different requirements than the rest of the league. But now, I mean, you know, as you move to Linux, it's even worse just because of Exchange, it's, you know. So what I'm going to do, because something's about to be released, it's sort of partially there, but it's about to be released, which, which is a real turning point, really, for this.